Hello and welcome back. This part we will uh, implement boundaries so that our players can't move wherever they want. At the moment they can go to the other side. And as I said earlier, this is completely up to you if you want to implement. Perhaps you want this feature. It might be fun actually. But I will uh, implement the boundaries so you can see how to do that if you want to do that. And since we have implemented everything else, if you remember one of the first episodes, we decided to go with colliders and not restrict the movement by code. So we will keep going in that direction. So let's create a few invisible boundaries. So double click on your environment so we can go back to the game. And we can see here that we this green box, if you can see it, this is the goal area. So let's go to it and mm, yeah, let's duplicate the goal area for now and call it mm, left boundary. All right, and remove the goal script from it. Remove. Now, so now we only have a transform and a box collider. Let's move. Hmm. Oh no. We can have them overlap each other. So the goal and the left boundary will be at the same level. That's fine. Okay, so now the player should not be able to move further left than the goal area. But we can see that it still can. Why is that? It's because our goal collider was a trigger. Let's uncheck this trigger from it from the left boundary. Now it will stop. See? But if we push the ball in that direction, okay, it worked because they are at the same level, but this might give a rise to some bugs, perhaps, that when it hits this area, the ball might not uh, score. For instance, check. Look what happens if we move the uh, um, left boundary a slight bit to the right. Okay, now it's moved very little to the right. What will happen when the ball goes there? It will bounce off the wall. And we want, don't want this to happen uh, accidentally. So let's change the physics for what can collide with what. Let's move it back to minus 9 first. Then we need to put stuff on different layers. So let's put the goals, all of the goals, on a, another separate layer. Go to here, the layer tab and check add layer. We'll add one for goals and one for uh, boundaries for now. Right? Go back and assign the goals to the goal layer. And assign the left boundary to the L boundary layer. Now let's go to edit, project settings, and go to physics 2D. Here's a matrix, and it can be quite hard to understand sometimes, so you might have to experiment fully with it. We don't want the ball to collide with the boundaries layer. So now we need to change the ball as well. Where is the ball in what layer? Um, the ball is in layer default as well as the player. So we should change that. Make a separate layer for the ball. Ball. So. And assign it to the ball. Great. And I assign the ball start position. It and it is asking me if I want to change the children as well, the ball. And I want to do that. So, yes. Okay, once again, go back to the project settings. Project settings. Physics. And now the ball should not collide with the boundaries. So, uncheck this box. Great, now the ball should not be able to collide with the boundaries. Let's try it again. If we move the left boundary a bit to the right, 
and hit the ball towards it, it should score and not bounce. Yes, perfectly. Now it won't be bouncing off the wall that is the boundary of the player accidentally. But we should also test so that the player still is affected by the left boundary. And it is. Great. So, this is what we wanted. Now we have a boundary on the left side. Let's create, let's duplicate the left boundary, call it right boundary, and move it to the same position as the goal. Uh, let's move this back first, left boundary, and the, which is the position of the goal one. And the position of goal two is plus nine, so let's move the right boundary plus nine. All right. And then we will have one more boundary in the middle so that the players can't enter each other's field. So we'll copy, duplicate one of the boundaries again and call it middle boundary. Like so. And move it to zero in the X. Okay, let's try it out. The player can't go left. Or enter the middle line and the left player can't pass the middle line and can't go further right than this great and the ball well they can't touch the ball when it's in the middle but if we serve the ball seems to be able to go wherever it wants all right i think this is it for now we have implemented the boundaries so they are stuck on their sides and as i said again you can remove the boundaries if you think that will be a more fun for your game right uh, finally just save this and upload it to the cloud implemented boundaries and publish all right i see you guys in the next part bye bye